Hey everyone, uh, I just got done riding home at night here and uh, I wanted to share a few thoughts on my new HJC DS X1 Adventure Helmet. Now, my previous helmet was an HJC Modular Helmet and uh, the first thing I noticed about this helmet was how light it was compared to my Modular Helmet. I mean this thing weighs nothing. Uh, the second thing I noticed was that it actually has some channels in here, right here. It's kind of hard to see, but there are little channels right here for your glasses, which for me was awesome because uh, my, my glasses are usually getting smashed up into my head and pushed around weird and uh, it makes it really uncomfortable. So th that was one of the most amazing things that I, I found about this. Um, See up top here, we've got some uh, real easy to open and close vents. Uh, I've done it with thin gloves, thick gloves. It's it's super easy to adjust. Uh, vents out the back. Um, I have not noticed any shuddering or like the, the helmet trying to pull my head off while I'm going down the road uh, because of the aerodynamics or anything. Um, now it's got these little pins in it and I think these pins are for like a um, tear off visor thing. Um, another nice thing about this is uh, you can flip up the visor, which one, one thing I don't like about it is it's a little difficult to pop the visor up. Uh, I'm wondering if that will get easier with time or if that's just how it is. Um, it's good and bad. I normally ride with the visor open, so for me it's a small annoyance. Um, you can flip the visor up and run a set of goggles on this helmet if you're doing some off-road stuff. Uh, Otherwise, you can put the visor down, and it is kind of kind of domed a little bit. You can see there's you know, an overhang here, but uh, I do notice my breath fogs it up if I have the visor down on cold nights. Because there's such a curvature inside of here, um, I can't blow my breath out the bottom of the helmet, and it kind of circulates up. Uh, the front vents here do a pretty good job of... Uh, getting rid of most of that but it it builds up over time uh, the visor is removable so you could turn this into a street helmet if you wanted to um, easily adjustable I haven't I haven't adjusted this at all I just put it all the way down and just ridden that way uh, that's how I usually put all my helmets uh, you can see some more vents down here for airflow um, yeah, inside, I mean, there's not a whole lot going on. There's there's some pretty big air channels in there, so when I when I pop the vents open, I can actually feel the air going over my head, uh, which is very nice. Um, the visor is vented pretty well, so it doesn't catch air and try and rip your head off like a lot of helmets do. Um, again, with the, the visor, um, it's got a tab and I can I can pop it open with my thumb going down the road It's just not as easy as my street helmets were I just stuck my little GoPro mount on there. I haven't actually done any video with this yet, but uh, Not not a whole lot of spots on here to put a GoPro mount um, You know a lot of guys put them inside the visor up there, uh, but I hate having a camera hanging down in my face um, But uh, you know if that's not a concern for you don't worry about it then uh, Come in a few different colors. I picked white because it was a high visibility thing, and um, I've noticed with black helmets they get so hot. Um, to me, they seem they they get hot anyway, uh, sitting in the sun. So, um, also white helmets a blank canvas if I want to paint it or get some kind of artwork put on it also. So uh, I really like this helmet. Um, I'm probably going to get some kind of fog insert for the visor. That's the only thing I'm going to change. But um, great helmet. Um, the high points I'd say uh, it's very lightweight and it has an excellent range of view. Um, the, this visor comes way back. So there's a very broad panorama view out of the front of this helmet. Um, highly recommend it even if you're a street rider um, it's it's great this keeps the sun out of your eyes you know um, this is probably the helmet I would wear uh, you know no matter what I rode at this point um, 
So highly recommend it. If you have any questions, ask away in the comment section and I will try and answer it for you. Uh, thanks for watching.